of elbows. You can choose whatever kind of macaroni you desire. And we're just gonna put in um, I'm just gonna guesstimate two and a half cups of macaroni noodles. So let me just get a spoon here. We're just gonna give it a quick, quick little stir. I like my macaroni noodles al dente, so we're gonna let that go for about mm, maybe 10 minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and preheat our oven to 350 degrees. And we're gonna let that do its thing. I'm gonna go ahead and wash these pork chops off and I'll return to the video. And I'm gonna use this. You can use any kind of oil you want. I prefer the Luana Blend Southern Fry Oil, the vegetable and peanut oil. That's my favorite, just a preference. So we're going to go ahead and put this oil in the pan and we're going to fill it uh, maybe about halfway, halfway for a 12 inch skillet. I'm going to go ahead and turn that eye on. Let's go ahead and check, check my noodles here. See? Look at this. I want y'all to see this. This is how I like my macaroni noodles. Right here. Nobody wants to be chomping on a mushy noodle when they eat macaroni and cheese. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and let this pan of oil heat up so that we can get with it with the pork chops. Let me go ahead and take this off. We're gonna go ahead and drain, drain the water out of this. That way we can get the mac and cheese on the road. Make sure that all of them are coated on front and back because we don't want no unseasoned chops, okay? And this was just a pack of assorted chops. There was no specific cut or anything. I just grabbed the whatever was on sale. And it was a box of assorted pork chops. So, all right. They're all coated. want to make sure that you put it in away from you that way grease is not splattering it isn't splattering all over the place one now all these chops appear to be a little bit big so it looks like we're only going to be able to fit two in this pan at a time so we'll have to do three batches, it looks like, for the pork chops, fried pork chops. And we go ahead and put this covered one on the pan. You hear that nice sizzle. 
clean grease, fresh grease. We're going to go ahead and let those fry up. So we're just going to put a little bit of milk inside this bowl with the egg. Uh, a little bit more. There. That's good enough. Then we're going to go ahead and give it a whisk. Now you can use any type of cheese you'd like. I pretty much use what I have on hand in my refrigerator when I'm making it unless I plan to make it. So we have a little bit of Kraft mozzarella. We have a little bit of SC Grocer's Colby Jack. It's a one pound box. And then the seasoned flour, this is the seasoned flour that we're using today on these fried pork chops here. And they're frying up pretty good there, so we're just gonna leave those alone. And we're gonna go ahead and assemble our macaroni here. Okay, so one more thing that I add to my mac and cheese because I like it is the ground mustard. And it just gives it a little tang to me. Just my opinion. Gives it a little tang. And the oven is already preheated to 350 degrees. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw this on in there, okay? For this, we're gonna add extra virgin olive oil. We're just gonna once around the pan. That might have been two, twice around the pan, but who's counting? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let that heat up. Let that oil heat up. I have this Eckridge smoked sausage. This is just what I use. You can use bacon, you can use um, anything that you do or don't want. Um, we have one onion here that I'm going to cut up. So let's go ahead and get started.
to the side. Baby said he getting ornery too, so we have to make this little plating quick. Should have made some cornbread with this, would have been real good. Some cornbread, cabbage, mac and cheese, and some fried chops. Yeah, buddy. And this is the finished plate right here. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy it, even though it's light. Eat this dinner with my husband. Watch some TV. And lay it down. Thanks for watching.